Hello, gentlemen. Welcome to today's discussion. Today we will be talking about the subject of the boiler. So we will be discussing the very basic topic. Let's take the topic of a gas glass in the boiler. Very often, the reading in the gas glass it is little bit troublesome because sometimes if the gas glass is full, it is unable to read whether it is completely full or empty. And also in some other cases, like when the gas glass is totally empty, then also it becomes very confusing for us to know whether it is completely full or empty. So, what does the boiler gas glass look like? It is nothing but a cylindrical section and in some cases it is different but let's take the case where the gas glass is cylindrical. It is just nothing but, it's nothing but just a tube of a pipe made of glass. This is just like this. So the gas glass is like this. It is a tube of glass and so the tube of glass it looks like this from the top and supposing if this is totally empty that means what this glass is totally this tube is totally empty and this should look like what? It is a lens. What type of lens? It is a concave convex lens. And what does this lens do? It does nothing but reduces the size of the object in the image. If you place an object here, if you place an object here, from this place, it will look like a small thing. And if you move it in, these directions, if we move it from left to right, then the movement will also be seen in the same directions. That means when the glass is empty or the tube is empty, if we take a piece of an object behind the glass. This is this is the glass. I have taken the empty glass. You can see the empty glass here. And let us see the movement of my finger. If I move it, how does it look like? Let us see the movement of my finger, if I move it, how does it look like? If I take this glass, see, above the glass you can see my finger and below the glass also you can see. See, the finger is moving 
in the same direction as I move the figure in reality. So, but movement will be a little bit less because then this will be a convex lens. That means if a glass of water, if the glass is empty, then if I move my hand, then the movement will be seen in the same direction. But let us fill up the glass and see the action of the image. Now you can see I filled up the glass partially and we will see how the movement of my hands how it looks from the other side. It is just like a cylindrical pipe of water, cylindrical pipe of glass filled up with water, just like a boiler gas glass. So, from this person to this person, it is empty, it is empty, and below this, it is full of water. So let's see the different images that are formed above and below the surface of the water. As you can see here, I have taken my finger, let's see on the top of it, how it looks. See. On the top, it is still on the same direction as I move my hands. In the portions below the surface of water, when I am moving my finger, it is moving in the other direction. The image is moving in the other direction as the moment of my finger. You can see you can see on the top of the on the proportions above the layer above the surface that means now it is moving from right to left but the image is moving now it is when we move from right to left, the portions above the layer, that means in the empty portion, it is still going in the, in the direction of left, right to left. But in the portions where it is filled up with water, it is moving in the different direction. That means it is moving in the, from the left to right. So that means what the portions below the surface of water it is acting like a lens and now see you can see the movement of my finger is opposite to the actual movement of my finger. You can see in the portions below the surface of water the image is moving in the different direction. So that means if the glass is filled up with water up to this level, then we can very well know from this kind of movements if we take our finger behind it, then we can where you will know the moment of the finger and sometimes for example let's say for example this is the gauge glass now it is totally difficult 
to understand whether it is filled up or empty. But if I take my finger behind it, my hand is moving in this direction and the finger image is moving in other direction. If my hand is moving in this direction, the image, image is moving in the other direction. See? See? See the movement of the image? It is opposite to the movement of my hand. So, if we concentrate on that part, and move our hands and move our fingers behind them and watch it from the front. We can very well know that at what point or up to what point the glass is filled up or we can very well know the exact level of the water.